Hello friends, Amy R here with Prairie Paper and Ink, back with another wax seal video. Haven't done one in a while. I will have a link at the end of this video to my wax seal playlist. I have a few videos in there. I have a couple of very in-depth videos with tons of info. So if I don't address it here, it's probably in one of those videos. So starting off with my little uh, wax melting furnace. This is from Honeybee. I've got my tea light in here. Like I always say, be very aware when doing this sort of a thing. When you've got something, you know, lit like a tea light, you got flame, we're doing paper crafting. You know, you guys have seen my desk, my desk space. I have stuff piled up everywhere. But when I'm doing this, I keep a nice margin around that tea light so that I don't light things on fire. So I've got my little furnace, my wax melting spoon, and this time I was just kind of mucking around and mixing different colors of wax melts. Wasn't happy with how the first one turned out. So chopped it up, threw it back in the, the spoon, melted it, and I'm just going to report. Had a lot of people asking because I posted um, just a little picture of these when these were all finished. And people were asking about like how I got them so perfect, etc. One, as always perfection is overrated <laughs> you can't and I know people are gonna ask you can use those little wells on the side of this mat this is the honeybee uh, silicone mat <clears throat> it was designed for doing wax seals those wells on the side are meant to hold your wax stampers they are not meant for pouring wax into them you can I did actually show that in the it was a live video I did and it'll be in the playlist um, you need a lot of wax to fill like to put enough to hit the edges of that well to create and I'm using air quotes here perfect wax seals which makes them huge and bulky and it uses a lot of wax that's why I don't use them for that that's not what it was intended for and I just don't worry about it however if I'm not happy with how it turns out and it's usually because I just haven't poured either it's one of two things I either haven't poured enough wax or when I put down the stamper onto the little pool of wax, sometimes I'm not paying attention. Like in, on camera, it's easy for you guys to see because you're looking straight down so you can see the whole stamper, but I'm sitting you know, in front of it so I can't see the back. So sometimes I don't place the stamper and it properly and so then you, know, you don't get that little, nice little lip around the edge, but same thing. If it doesn't turn out the way I want it to, I don't like using the word perfect. It doesn't need to be perfect. But if I'm not happy with it, again, chop it up, remelt it. You know, it, it works. So like I said, I was just kind of mucking around with colors. I started with um, the Honey Bee Happy Hearts Wax Melts. And I'll have links to everything. But I was also pulling out colors from... Um, different little collections. I was kind of going like, you know, peachy, pinks, yellows, greens, and yeah, just having fun. I used uh, the Heart Wax Stamper and the With Love Wax Stamper. I had a rough idea what was, you know, what I wanted to do. I was originally only going to do one card, but then once I started like, you know, melting wax and pouring and doing all the things, I made enough for two because <laughs> it's fun. So, um, to stir the colors, you can leave them as is, and I've shown that as well. And you get, you know, that marbled effect. I, this time I was going for like, you know, like really just kind of creating my own colors. And I'm just using my little die release tool. You can use a toothpick. Again, be just wary of heat, all the things. And then when cleaning in between colors, if I like wanted to clean it out because I'm switching to a completely different color, um, I just use a bit of paper towel. You can also just let the spoon cool off completely and it, the wax peels out. That works. So once I was done creating a bunch of my little wax seals, I die cut some lemon chiffon cardstock with uh, one of Honey Bee's scalloped A2 rectangle wafer dies. And then I pulled out some pattern paper. I'm actually using some of it. I, I hoard Honey Bee's pattern paper because I love it. <laughs> But the, the pattern paper was also what kind of inspired the card too is because this is the Happy Hearts pattern paper. So it went with the wax melts. So I cut down a couple um, rectangles of one of the pattern papers and adhered that to the scallop rectangle. And then another question I get asked a lot is how to adhere them. This has also been addressed in 
um, other wax seal videos I've done. I've done a couple of different things. I generally use like score tape. Um, you can use liquid adhesive. I don't like using liquid adhesive with wax melts because no matter what, they're they're literally wax. They resist adhesive. So one of the new things that Honeybee came up with, and I showed this in their release and review video that I did a couple of months ago, whenever it was, um, they now have these wax seal stickers. These are great, legit. You got to press them in really good to, because again, the wax kind of wants to resist it. These are super, super thin, like super thin. So they don't add any more bulk, etc., and they stick good. So the first one, of course, that I peeled off, it's the like actual sticky part stuck to the main release paper. But the whole point of these is you're supposed to be able to peel it up, which is I was able to do properly with this one. You peel it up, you stick it to the back of your wax seal. Again, you got to just kind of press it in really, really good because wax, wax and adhesive, they just don't want to do. If you get really comfortable with wax seals, you can pour directly onto your card, your project, your envelope, whatever. I've done it a couple times. It just depends on whether or not I'm in the mood because it's a little more risky, <laughs> a little more nerve wracking. Hence me using like the silicone mat. It's just, you don't got to worry about it. And then you can just use these to adhere them. So that's what I did. I adhered them with these um, wax seal stickers and they're great. Um, again, if people ask about like mailing, I have received many cards over the last few years. That's really what got, you know, piqued my interest again in wax seals because they've been around for centuries. Um, I have received envelopes in the mail, like cards in the mail with wax seals on the outside, like on the back of the envelope. They've come through no problem. So it's up to you to look up your postal regulations, all the things. Cards like this with multiples, yes, it's going to add to the weight. Um, if you want to mail something like this, add a little bit of padding or best case scenario would be to put it in a bubble mailer because just the bulk of it all. Um, but ones like this, generally, I like to like either hand deliver or yeah, pad it up, add it to a bubble mailer, that sort of thing, because no matter what, it's almost guaranteed to be, to be too thick and too heavy for a standard size, um, like stamp, that sort of thing. So the next thing I did after I had adhered all my little wax seals to those card friends, I took some green cardstock and I white heat embossed sentiments from Honeybee's Eura Keeper stamp set. So I'd use my anti-static powder tool. I stamped the sentiments with clear embossing ink, coated them with some detail white embossing powder, melted these with my heat tool. Once that was done, I took my microfiber cloth and just wiped off that excess anti-static powder that's still sitting on the cardstock. And then I used the coordinating wafer dies to die cut these sentiments. So once I've picked out the sentiment or the, like the coordinating wafer dies, I just tape those into place with little bits of washi tape so that the wafer dies don't shift when I run them through my die cut machine. And I do this twice since I'm making two cards, two sentiments, just doubling up on all the things. So got those taped into place and then I die cut them. And then I took that same pattern paper from the Happy Hearts pack because you get two sheets of every pattern. So I trimmed down a couple of strips from um, the second sheet so I could add it to the insides of my cards. My cards are going to be top folding A2 white note cards, so four and a quarter by five and a half. So I adhered the little pattern paper strip and then I adhered the sentiment. So it just gives it that little extra something and ties it all together. So I did that with both of the insides of the cards. Once those are adhered into place, then I'm going to adhere those scalloped card fronts to the card bases. And same thing, just use craft tacky glue for that. And then the hello crafty friend die cut sentiment. That's, those are I'm going to pop up with some foam squares because they're going to slightly overlap the uh, little wax seals. So got everything into place putting foam squares on the back of my little sentiments and then get those adhered into place. And then I also used some of my hoarded bling, like legit man, pat me on the back. <laughs> I made a point of like, I hoard all my wax seal stuff. Cause I just, I, I literally collect all of it. I love it. I love 
wax seals. I love making them, but I love collecting them. I just, it's fun for me. So I use some of my wax seals. I use some of my pattern paper. I use some of my honeybee bling. These are the Happy Hearts Pearl stickers. And I'll link to both the pearl and the gem stickers. I was going to use both. Um, but I just ended up sticking with just the pearls because I thought they were cute. And I shockingly didn't need to add the gem stickers. Also, And also because, yes, I hoard them. These are all self-adhesive. So <laughs> you can just peel them off, stick them into place. So I just kind of sprinkled them around all these little wax seals because just kind of looking like a little fun cluster so i used way more than you know i normally would but that was kind of part of the whole design so i just stuck them all over the place and that finished them off these were really fun to make it was so fun to sit and melt all the little bits of wax and come up with you know random different colors and all the fun things and like i said i will have that link to the playlist at the end of this video so you guys can like scroll through that and check out any videos you might have missed find out more info all that fun stuff and then of course i will also have a link uh, below the video to my blog post with picture links to everything i'll have a supply list a link to all the supplies i showed so you guys can check that out below if you are interested thank you all so very much for taking the time to watch my videos for thumbs upping for commenting it definitely helps helps with those robot overlords subscribe if you haven't i'd love to have you and i will see you all very soon in the next video bye